Yes, crazy, but I can't, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot stand. What in the lie? What in the lion? That is all five minutes, walking distance of here. That begin to come. Gospel minister was his release <laughs> in a Kenyan, um, you know, wild reserve scared and saying he cannot come down with his vehicle because of a lion he saw in the park do you guys think uh -uh, as a gospel artist that has the, the, the you know the power and the strength of christ but he did supposed to you know express his faith and come down and tame the lions this and more you will get to know in this video you're welcome to my channel i'm amy react over here i do gist i do reactions and all that good stuff kindly do well by liking the video kindly do well by subscribing to the channel gospel minister moses bliss is in kenya and you know kenya has a lot of wildlife reserve and then moses bliss you know went to one of the wildlife reserves you all know there is no way Moses Bliss will go to Kenya. He will not go and, you know, see that wildlife. When I say wildlife, I'm talking about the zoo. Yes, let me make it easy. The zoo. And, you know, he was just saying how his other colleagues, you know, are just walking around the zoo. Surely one particular part enjoying themselves. And how the, the you know, the, the wildlife reserve manager told them at that particular area they can come down, that there is no issue. And it was like this prophecy over him. That what if he comes down and the lion comes out and attack him? That what will he say? And then, you know, there was this comment that was this dropped in that video that uh, I want to read to you guys. The comment says, Side note, I was already told by the tour guard that no one comes down from the car in the wild. I take instructions seriously. He also mentioned that three years ago, a man came down from the vehicle and the lion used him for lunch. And then he later was trying to convince me that I can come down and stretch my leg. How about now? Hmm. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you think I am Moses Bliss should have, you know, come down from the vehicle and, you know, stretch his leg? To me, I just feel, God forbid, thank God Moses Bliss applied wisdom and did not come down from that vehicle. Yes. You know why? Like he said, there is prophecy over me. I cannot fail. I cannot disappoint. Yes. When you know there is prophecy over you, you should know that even situations where people will be involved and not get injured. If you go against God's will for you, you will go there and you will get injured. The tour guide has already told you that this is a zoo. You don't come down in the wild. So what are you coming down in the wild to do? That is a question. You know, I'm so happy that um, Moses Bliss is a lot in the spirit. And I will tell you guys why I am happy that Moses Bliss is a lot in the spirit. You all know this uh, visit that he went for was before that, um, you know, the Kenyan um, concert. That was like a day before. Because I saw this video from one uh, vlogger on Facebook before Moses Bliss even released it. So that video was like, you know, that concert was on a Saturday. Moses Bliss arrived Kenya on a Friday. Sorry, a Saturday morning. And that zoo visit was on a Saturday, I think, afternoon or evening. Just imagine the devil knowing that Moses Bliss um, coming to Kenya will be huge. And lives will be impacted. And he knows that, oh, if I allow this guy, lots of souls will be turned on to Christ. And Moses Bliss was not allowed in the spirit. He came down. Do you know that the devil can remote the lion to come and eat him up? Do you know? That is one thing about people on a mission. I'm glad he was a lot. And that's why it's good to have a praying wife as a man, a praying mother as a man. Same thing as a woman. It's good to have a praying husband and also a praying mother. You'll be shocked. There are people that they pass through. The, 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 let me just go and swim in the pool. Well, everybody swims in this pool. Like my own cannot be different. When there's prophecy over you, there are things you don't do. Yes. There are things you don't do. He might go into that pool and get drowned. Only when he's not wearing a life jacket. Yes. And somebody said that, oh, does he not have faith? He would have come down. When the lion comes to him, he will speak to the lion. The lion will, will you know, will go back. I don't understand. Do you say because you have faith 
or you have confidence in God, you go and look for trouble. No. The God we serve is not the God that because you believe in him, because you trust in him, you will go and look for trouble. No. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, was, was it Daniel that carried his two legs and entered the lion's den? No. He was preaching the word of God. And the king as at that time wanted to persecute him. That was why he was thrown to the lion's den to be eaten up by the lions. So it's not as if Daniel just went into the zoo or went to the lion's den by himself to go and prove that God called him. No. It was a circumstantial something. He was thrown there. He was thrown there. And you know what? God came through. God showed up. But bet you, I didn't mean like Daniel went there without that situation happening. The lions would have eaten him up. That is not how God works. We've heard stories of people that, you know, just go to the lions then. They say they want to prove that God called them, that God this God. That How do they end up? They end up being eaten by the lions. When, um, you know, this guy in the Bible walked on water. Was it not Jesus that called him and said, walk? He said, if only your faith can be as small as a mustard, said that you will walk and you will move mountains. And he walked on water. Had he been he just stood up and said, he wants to perform a miracle and walk on water, he would have drowned. We've heard stories of pastors that they said, there was one that, there was one that happened, that I think was in Cameroon. They said the guy tried walking on water and he drowned. Faith is not using God to do caricature, no. Faith is not using God to do drama, no. Faith is not using God to do, or you want to prove to people, you want to receive the glory that you walked on water, no. Because that kind of an exercise, you're not taking the glory to God, no, you are not. You're not taking the glory to God. You are doing it for your own selfish purpose to achieve your own selfish reason. So such, um, you know, performances, God will not involve himself in it. He said, my glory will I not share with any man. That's one thing about God. If you want to go far in life, do not share God's glory with him. But if you want to, you know, remain in one position, go and share God's glory with him. You will see yourself fall. Fall so bad. So I'm glad that Moses Blues knows that you cannot share God's glory with him. And that was why he respected himself and remained in that seat. Because even the Holy Spirit will tell him that the third God already told you that nobody comes down from the vehicle. Why do you want to show faith? Why do you want to prove faith by coming down from the vehicle? Thank God for the wisdom of God in Moses, please. Because God forbid, he wasn't alert spiritually and he came down from that vehicle. Who knows the story would have been hearing by now. We reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. May God continue to give us wisdom and strength, you know, to take the right decisions at the right time. My lovelies, I'm Ami React. Over here, I do just, I do reactions and all that good stuff. Kindly do all by liking the video. Kindly do all by subscribing to the channel. I will definitely see you in my next one, guys. Feel free to drop your opinion to the comment section. Bye.